The World Anti-Doping Agency has pledged to increase sanctions against athletes who dope. They've been co-hosting a convention with the United Nations organization UNESCO in a bid to tackle that issue. Paul Rees is more now from Paris. It's been another difficult year for the reputation of sport. In the summer, leaked documents from the IAAF, Athletics World Governing Body, suggested widespread use of illegal substances at the elite level. Mo Farah, Britain's double Olympic champion, had to answer questions about the activities of his coach, and the main competitor to Usain Bolt at the World Championships was the convicted drug cheat, Justin Gatlin. Two days ago, Tate Smith, the Australian kayaker who won gold at London 2012, was banned for two years. Now, the latest battleground is here in Paris at the headquarters of UNESCO. At the conference here, governments from around the world will show how they're implementing anti-doping regulations, such as this year's increase of a ban from two years to four years. In an advisory role is WADA, the World Anti-Doping Authority. We asked their Director General, David Howman, what he would say to people who are simply fatigued by what seems like a never-ending struggle. Well, I don't think there's a way of getting rid of every, every rotten apple in a barrel. I think you have to accept that in, in all aspects of our society, you're going to get people who take shortcuts. Now, some countries such as Austria, Italy and France have made doping in sport a criminal offence. Here at this conference is Romania's 1996 Olympic fencing champion, Laura Badia. She says criminalisation is not the answer. It's different. It's just... Uh... You know, you don't kill someone. They pay four years. It's enough. Uh, it's not uh, only their, their fault. Now, with the prevalence of doping in sport, it may be too much to hope that the Rio 2016 Olympics next year are completely clean. But delegates here will at least hope they can minimize the number of cheats on the podium. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Paris.